Arzu Raja, a 13-year-old Pakistani Christian girl, is the latest victim in the pattern of the kidnapping, forced conversion and forced marriage of young Christian girls in the country. This case prompted demonstrations against uh, these grave injustices in an attempt to give a voice to the suppressed religious minorities of Pakistan. With these kidnappings, I read, taking place now more regularly than before. So previously, you may remember, I'm, I told you that uh, over a thousand Hindu and Christian girls per year in 2014 were kidnapped and regularly forced into Islamic marriages within um, Pakistan. That's now increasing. Um, and the religious minorities have been pushed to increasing extremes of discrimination. Human rights groups have raised voices uh, regarding this in Pakistan and minority girls forcefully being converted to Islam is a concern which is being raised by these groups time and time again, especially when it comes to a country like Pakistan, where these incidents are being reported all too often, unfortunately. So Arzu, who was from the city of Karachi, located in the southern part of Pakistan in the province of Sindh, was abducted by her next door neighbor, a Mr. Um, I don't know why he gets the honorific, basically. His name's Azar Ali. Um, taken against her will, forcefully converted to Islam and married to the 44-year-old kidnapper. Her parents, who are obviously distraught, uh, filed an official report with the police department and immediately began pursuing legal action on behalf of their daughter. Heart-wrenching visuals from Pakistan. A mother's uh, cry for her daughter, who was 14, merely 14 years old, married off to her abductor, who was 44 years old. Uh, this is the plight of the minorities in Pakistan. And that resulted in the most recent decision of the High Court favouring the kidnapper. I'll just say it again, just in case you didn't catch that one. The High Court have backed the kidnapper and upheld the marriage for a 13 year old and you have to be 18 in Pakistan to be uh, legally married. Although the case filed by the parents was pending in, dis in district court where the abductor refused to disclose the whereabouts of the child, Mr Ali filed the complaint in high court for protection on behalf of the child. Um, the judge did not, did not provide a fair opportunity to the plaintiffs, which was a direct violation of Article 10A of the prevailing state constitutions and issued a one-sided decision without examining the government, school or church documents, clearly stating that the girl was a minor of the age of 13. So the pending jurisdiction of the lower court and orders for Azu to be produced in court were ignored by the High Court. Instead of producing her in the lower court, Mr Ali presented Azu at the higher court, which was an openly disrespectful and deceiving manoeuvre by the abductors. Such a strategy is quite indicative of a complicity within the police and system in regards to the case. So as codified in the Sindh Child Marriages Restrained Act of 2013, this province has prohibited child marriage and restricted the age of consent to 18 years old. Even though documents produced by her family clearly proved her to be 13, the judge refused to review the evidence. Um, instead, the judge of the High Court sided with the falsified documents presented by the kidnapping. And this case has sparked demonstrations in the region protesting the pattern of injustice, forced kidnappings and conversions that have been commonplace in Pakistan and remain consistently a point of fear for the girls in the religious minorities community. So again, um, a mother does not have custody of a 13-year-old child at this point. A 13-year-old child has been uh, raped, presumably, to consummate the marriage and forced into Islam, forcibly converted and kidnapped uh, by a man who is now claiming uh, legal protections for his kidnapping and rape by dressing it up as a marriage. Even if it was a legal marriage, the kidnapping part, in my mind at least, indicates that the girl was not willingly um, a, 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 a part of this arrangement even though she couldn't be legally as she is actually 13 and the fact that a higher court is now siding with the abductor to me screams Sharia um, because yeah like child marriage is obviously 
allowed under Sharia because of um, Surah 65.4, which gives instructions on how to divorce um, those who are too young, according to the Tafsir, or too old, or who are um, not pregnant at the time. So, please do pray for our zoo, pray for her family, pray that she is not corrupted further uh, spiritually, that she, the Holy Spirit may uh, reside in her and with her, and that she would see the truth of her situation and not be swayed by Islamic arguments or fear. And I ask that all of you feel no fear around this situation because God has it in control, but your prayers are needed uh, for this family who are absolutely beside themselves and I you know, if you can only imagine it was your 13 year old sister or niece or child or, or friend or neighbour. So please do pray for Pakistan as a whole, for the religious minorities there, which include Christians and Hindus. Pray for the Holy Spirit to pour itself out onto this land and um, soften the hearts of persecutors of Christians everywhere, basically. And God bless. I'll be back soon.